Hello Reverse people, welcome to another video on Staff Functions. In this one I want to show you how to push messages inside an SQS queue from your Staff Functions state machine. So the first thing you have to do is to create a queue. So we go in here, we just leave the standard queue, so here I'm gonna call it my queue test. Here I don't want to change any configuration. If you're actually interested in like how these things works, I also made a video about it. I'm gonna leave it in the description. But what I want to do is just to create um, very quickly a queue. So I'm gonna just leave everything like by default and click create queue. So we have the queue now. The queue is available in my AWS account. What you need to copy in order to use it with in your step functions is the URL. So here, pay attention, you will need the URL and not the uh, ARN. So let's move to the um, step function dashboard now. I'm going to create a new state machine, a standard as always, and here is the workflow studio. I'm going to first of all create a pass node because I want to pass the value from the start node to the SQS queue. And here I'm just going to say, SQS, filter SQS, send message. So I'm gonna add it here. And now it's time to configure my SQS queue. So let's see, I can call it SQS test. Integration type optimized is fine. And here, as I said, you need the queue URL. So I save it as this one. My queue test message, use state input as message. Yeah, I want to just use the state input. Wait for callback, I don't care. And then gonna just click go to end. So here it's just like, you know, to filter the input and the output, error handling, I'm not gonna need it now. So we are ready, this is like as simple as like getting the input from the start node, passing the input inside the SQS, send message actions and see if the message is received by our queue. So I click next. Uh, here you can see the definition of the task. You can, as always, like uh, copy the JSON file or also like export the image. Uh, the next step is gonna ask me to create a new role. I'm gonna just leave it to AWS to create my new role. Here, just gonna call it my SQS uh, test, SQS test machine, and then I'm just gonna create the state machine. Okay, so now we have the state machine. I'm gonna simulate an execution by starting the execution. Here it is like uh, we can call it I don't know, um, purchase ID. Here I'm gonna use just a random ID. So as one two three four five six. Stack execution, we can see here the progress, so it's all green as I would expect. This is a very simple state machine. Put chase ID, enter the SQS, and it's pushed inside my queue. You can see all the details with message ID and all the metadata. So now if we go on the SQS um, dashboard, we should be able to see our uh, message. Yeah, so we have messages available in here. And if we click on uh, send receive message, we should be able to see the uh, message. One message available, pull for message, and there you can see the ID. There you go. We have the purchase ID, as I said, and as you can see, the purchase ID is the one coming from these step functions. All right, that was it. You've seen how simple it is to integrate and send messages inside a queue from your step functions. Hope the video was useful. Remember to subscribe to the channel to see more videos about the functions and servers in general.